So Zach Hyman is a 40 goal scorer, reaching that milestone for the first time in his career. Hyman has been a very nice piece of this Oilers roster for the last three years being in Edmonton. And with the elite players like McDavid and Dreisaitl on this roster, Hyman gets lost in the shuffle. He had a good season last year, scoring 36 goals and having 83 points overall. But how is he able to score so many goals? Well, let's do a breakdown and we'll put it in three categories. Number one, net front presence. He likes to hang around the front of the net and he buries home the garbage. Number two, he's good at being a finisher. When he's given the puck in a high dangerous scoring area, he scores at a high percentage and third, something that people don't want to admit, he does have some good hands and skill to his game. Now column one and column two will have some intermingling, but let's talk about the net front presence. This is an underrated part of this game. Some people would say, isn't it easy just to sit in front of the net and tap it home? I mean, if it was that easy, you'd have a lot of guys thriving in that situation and score 30, 40 goal seasons like crazy. Hyman's spatial awareness is very good. He knows exactly where to put himself on the ice where he'll have the best opportunity to score. He finds those open lanes and allows his teammates to find them. And then he also has good hand-eye coordination. Hyman has had a lot of deflection goals where he'll sit in front of the net or sit by the post, put his stick out there, sometimes it'll even go off of his body, and due to the change of angle of the puck, the goalie really can't make a save. This is a underrated skill. You could say, well, anybody can do that, but that's just not the case. Hyman is extremely good at getting open and having a willingness to battle in front of the net. That is a difficult spot to be in because you're getting beat up by the defenseman, by the center, even by the goaltender. It's a tough spot to play, but he's fearless in it. Now, number two, he is a good finisher. He plays with phenomenal players like McDavid and Drysaddle, but it doesn't matter if you get amazing feeds if you can't bury the puck. In an underappreciated part of his game, yes, he scores a lot of goals in close, but he has very good hands where he's able to work in tight spaces and get it past the goaltender. Does he have an Alexander Ovechkin one-timer? No. Does he have an Austin Matthews type release? No. Is he going to dangle through a bunch of people like McDavid? No, but he has a very good shot, soft hands. He has formed himself a nice role within the Oilers offense, getting in front of the net, having the ability to bury at a high percentage. And third, a part of his game people don't want to acknowledge, he does have good skill. He'll have breakaways where he'll bury it. He's really good finishing on his backhand. As I stated previously, very soft hands in close. Hyman is an intelligent hockey player that is maximizing his potential and understanding his role. Let's keep things in perspective. He had 36 goals last year, 83 points. And sometimes, not always, but sometimes with players, when they have these high production seasons, they do tend to get a little bit of more ego. But with Hyman, when I watch him play, he really understands his role and plays to his strengths. He doesn't try to go outside of himself too much, and that is why he has been so productive with the Oilers. Would he score 36, 40 goals on a different team with less talented teammates? Most likely not, but I still think Zach Hyman would be a plus 25 goal scorer because of his willingness to go to areas of the ice where a lot of players do not like living. To me, a guy like Hyman is the perfect playoff player. He gets the dirty goals, goes to the dirty areas. If the Oilers want to succeed in the playoffs, you need to have guys like a Hyman on your roster. Because while it might not be very pretty or extremely fancy, those are the type of goals that go in in the postseason. And I think his last two playoff runs with the Oilers proved that to be the case, where in 28 games played, he has 14 goals, 13 assists for 27 points. While Hyman is not a superstar level talent and not what you would think typically of a 40 goal scorer, he's the exact type of player every single team would love to have. I'd like to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What have you thought of Zach Hyman's 40 goal season thus far? I'm Paul from Locker Room. I'll see you in the next one.